So in this video I'll be talking about creating landscapes in Blender and a couple of resources free and paid in creating uh, high quality landscapes. So right now as you can see I am using some sort of displacement map um, for uh, landscapes. So this is basically where you have a plane subdividing it and adding a um, displacement height map sort of thing onto it. And depending on how subdivided the plane is you can have a different range of quality. So this is pretty good. Uh, there's going to be a link in the description to a website where you can download these. So here is one of the sites where you can download these displacement maps. So I'll leave a link in the description where you can get to this area here. Now um, this is pretty old as you can see 2021. But there's some pretty good resources which are pretty much free as you can see here. So you can get 50 mountain displacements, which I haven't really tried. Um, if you scroll down, you can see this uh, terrain ones, which is pretty much the ones I have been using for a couple, for a couple of years now. So uh, yeah, if you click here, check out, it's all free. You just gotta uh, give them your email and you should be able to um, get a link where you can download these. Uh, these are very good, very high quality. Um, as long as you just uh, have enough um, vertices on your plane you should be able to get some pretty good results so once you have it downloaded all you have to do is just uh, create a plane add some subdivision modifier to it and add a displacement modifier which you can see on the right side of the screen one thing to know is that you might have to play around with the strength value for the displacement because uh, sometimes it just might look a bit off but it depends on what you're looking for uh, right now i'm using an array modifier to just extend it it's so another free way of creating landscapes within Blender is um, using its own like um, resources, add-on resources it has. So if you go to add mesh, you should have an option called landscape. And it creates these landscapes which have a large variety of like uh, parameters that you can change depending on what landscapes you want. So it, it's pretty good, it's pretty handy. Um, it is a bit messy because it, once you move it, it kind of get rid of these parameters that you can um, like adjust. So that's kind of annoying, but we're just gonna have to deal with it. So that's a pretty good way. I've used it for um, uh, this short animation on the screen, as you can see. Um, it's pretty good. Um, just to make it better, you just have to add some extra subdivisions to it. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So going over like texturing, um, there's many ways to texture these landscapes um, or grounds. Um, for this uh, short video, I decided to add some some of my own texture. So I'll have a screenshot uh, coming up soon, which you can just copy. It's a pretty go good way of texturing. It's kind of unrealistic because it doesn't actually use uh, scanned uh, textures from realistic like real life. But it's kind of hard uh, for like having this high view of, of like um, actual photo scans of the ground because you're just gonna see like repeated textures which is pretty basically not realistic so not look good so because i wanted to make this like sandy sort of thing i decided to keep this texture so here is a screenshot um once you have the exact values then you can use them i don't recommend changing the most grave textures values such as the details the dimensions i recommend keeping it how it is a good way to adjust it is using this color ramp here, which is basically adding different textures. So you can add different values. Um, I'm just messing around with colors, don't, <laughs> don't try it. So since I'm talking about terrains and terrain generating and all that stuff, I, I pretty much have to um, talk about this uh, software, which is not part of Blender, but it's a very good software called World Creator. So I'll also leave a link in the description of this video. But this software is pretty much amazing at creating good landscapes, as you can see in the background videos. Uh, these are like procedurally made and they can be highly <clears throat> customized for your own liking. Uh, the good thing about it is that like, it uh, generates these terrains and also the textures for them. Though, though I do think the textures are um, not great if you're trying to go into Blender. Because it's like a top-down texture and it's uh, 4K which might seem like good but in some um, circumstances that's not enough so yeah if i just scroll down here you can see that there's a lot of companies uh, mainly like video game companies as you can see dice blizzard that pretty much use this software but anyways also so there's some films here um <clears throat> but yeah um it's a very good uh, software it does cost money though but then um, it's, it's a pretty good deal if you ask me to be honest 
you can basically buy this ultra for um pretty much just under three hundred dollars uh if you pay a year it's cheaper but um yeah i think if you just buy this ultra that's pretty good there's also a 50 percent discount i think if you are a student um there was somewhere like that yeah you can just apply for um 50% discount if you're a student, which is pretty good, but I think that's only if you're going yearly. So if you're a student, you could get up to like around $75, which is pretty much like a video game, if you ask me. So I think this is worth it, and yeah, if you have like money to spare, I recommend getting this um, stall from, which is very good.